Welcome to this video. This is my presentation of CURL 891, released today, July 31st, 2024. Um, <clears throat> yes, I am Daniel. Uh, you probably know this. Uh, I am the lead developer of CURL. I work for Wolf SSL. That's my site. That's my Mastodon account. That's the photo of my workplace where I actually am right now, but you're seeing it from a different angle in the video than in this photo. So this is release 259. We're only um, doing this a week since the previous one. So the participation uh, is of course then not as sort of, where are uh, we, are, a little bit of fewer people who have actually done things uh, in this single week, but we got at least help from 19 contributors, five new and 32, 11 in total. And if you're comparing this number with the number from the last release, you will see that the, it doesn't really add up, but that is because I went through and removed a few duplicates from the list this week. So I think the total number is actually the same total number as in the previous one, just because I managed to remove a few duplicates because you know people have well i have added names uh, the same name in different ways just to the list so and the same thing actually went for the authors i actually deduped a few authors too but we got commit author um, author authored commits by 10 authors this week uh, one new and we're at 1288 in total which i think is one less than last week or whatever it is just because of my deduping so it took us one week to do this, and uh, that means that we've been doing uh, this for 9,630 days since the first curl release. Um, this this release, then we're I'm here, we are here today, only seven days uh, since the previous release because uh, we did a few regressions in the previous release, and we wanted to get them fixed and ship a new one so that people can avoid getting trapped or caught in, in problems because of those regressions. And while working uh, on this patch release, we got a new security report file. So, hey, uh, when we are about to do a patch release anyway, and we have a security report, why not fix the security problem uh, at the same time? It of course made it a little bit more busy, but we made it. So we have a security advisory for, for this patch release as well read about it uh, in detail on this URL, of course, and about all our previous CVs and security advisories. So this is one new in this release. And uh, this is a little bit complicated. Let me uh, explain it in some detail, at least. So it was reported by Dov Murik. I have no idea how he pronounced his name. I'm sorry. Uh, it's a severity low. This is CVE 2024-7264. And it is in a ASN1 parser issue again. We've had them before. And as someone said, you should never parse ours and one uh, because it'll sort of lead to tears and sorrow. And it certainly does in our case. But so um, first of all, this we introduced this bug in 7.32.0, which was a long time ago, but it also is only used by a certain set of TLS backends. So it depends on what TLS you build your curl with. So the original uh, use of this function was with a TLS library that we don't even support anymore. And then we have introduced support for different TLS libraries over the years in different versions. You get a read up. So if you're using GNU TLS, uh, embed TLS, S channel or secure transport. If you're using any one of those, uh, uh, you want to go and read up about it. So they, we introduced this use of this during different uh, versions, in different versions. And this bug is also possibly hard to uh, even trigger because uh, curl parses this data after a successful TLS handshake, which means that the TLS library has also already parsed this data and sort of verified it or not. So we don't really know. But anyway, <clears throat> it is a, it most likely just leads to a crash because we make a sterlen on data that it, we shouldn't do a sterlen on because it's not null terminated. So we might uh, read, you know, heap memory until crash or until it stops on another zero and we will return data. So you might actually get unrelated 
heap data returned in an API call to libcurl. It's a yeah, it's a complicated thing. It's a particular libcurl function that this can affect. So do read about it if you're using one of those backends and if you're using the curl info cert info uh, option. Complicated stuff. But anyway, we managed to cram in a 28 bug fixes in this release in seven days. That's good. And some of those, some of the uh, noteworthy ones that we have uh, logged is uh, I we updated the, the the socket code for the dash dash IP TOS function. Uh, this uh, function, this is a new option in the previous release, right? Uh, and it sets this type of I don't even remember the name of it. Doesn't matter. It's, it's an IP header field. The IPv6 header field is called traffic class. It's a number. So you can pass in a number for this, but uh, it turns out that we got build failures on several platforms because of how the code was written for this. So I, we rewrote it a little bit to, to use it a little bit more defensively, a little bit safer so, so that it would build better on more platforms with and without IPv6 and uh, so on. We fixed a build issue on uh, Apple platforms really about an Apple SDK and target defines it's a very complicated issue but this should fix um, some build issues on, on um, apple operating systems now you can build curl the command line tool with including the manual thing on os 400 called ibm i these days um, and also we fixed it we added a workaround for a really silly uh, library bug on the same operating system which actually may, it makes uh, it makes put as you know the, this c function put s it's the put as always adds a new line at the end except in this library it doesn't do that so the output got all ruined anyway we've fixed that with a workaround <clears throat> and a few other things we did that possibly the biggest reason for these um, patch release is this uh, we fixed the connection shutdown for event-based processing so if you're using the event-based api in libcurl um, which is the curl multi-socket action function and and friends uh, curl would curl always ca calls callbacks in the application to notify the application here's the socket to wait for here's the socket to stop wait for and, and so on and uh, due to this bug we would sometimes not remove sockets from the application's set of sockets to wait for. So it would wait for sockets that it shouldn't wait for, which could, which could then lead to busy loops or even worse scenarios. So this is a, a nasty regression. We also had a, another silly regression that we did uh, the math wrong for the speed limiting code. If on 32-bit systems, so basically where size t is less than 32-bit, sorry, less than 64-bit. Uh, we managed to sneak in a little fix to be, be enable that so that you can build WolfSSL with its implementation of Kyber. Kyber is a, one of these post-quantum crypto algorithms, so um, just a tiny little fix. And we had another another sneaky issue that we introduced support for CA store caching um, for Wolf SSL. Well, I, I, we added support for that in the last release uh, and there was a few problems with it and now we fixed that. And I then, so that's basically what 891 is. Um, one security fix, 28 bug fixes, mostly regression things, everything is fine go ahead and run it in we have this pending removal that we will remove support for tls libraries without 1.3 support next year so if you're using one of those libraries without tls 1.3 support um you i think it is about time to start planning for how to manage the step away from that next year so the next release is now again presumed and planned to become 8.10.0 and we plan to ship that in 
September. And I'm, this time, I, I, I'm talked about all the things that we have planned, scheduled, hoped, or lined up to get merged um, into the next release. But uh, I'm not going to go through all of those today again. So you could switch back to the 890 video and, and see me talk more about these. These, of course, then remain because we haven't opened the feature window yet for, for the next release. So we haven't done any. All of these are still pending merge. And if you're working on one of those or these, or if you're particularly interested in one of these, you should just, you know, join join the join up the efforts and make sure to help us to get the stuff merged. The the feature window is only going to open two weeks this time, so it's going to be a a little bit of a race to get as much as possible merged into master during those two weeks before we close the feature window again. I wanted to particularly highlight that I also made a true rel release the other day. So if you're, uh, you should uh, run off and, and get the latest true rel to help you parse and manage URLs and shell scripts on, on the command line. True rel is of course a separate command line tool from the curl project made for URL parsing and manipulation. Uh, try it out. As I mentioned, 810 planned for a September 11. And uh, we always publish the pending uh, release notes, the work in progress release notes on this URL. It's actually populated there automatically. So as we work towards this release, you will see this data on this page get updated every few days with the current state of what we plan to ship. So since the, since we're, this release cycle is actually one week shorter than normal, and now it's one week shorter again, because we had the release Wednesday, which was last Wednesday, and today we have a patch Wednesday, which is then one week later. And usually we have a 10 day cooldown period, but now I'm, um, uh, now I'm on, um, we're on five day, no, with three days left because we're only going to, we're going to open the feature window on Saturday. And then we're going to have 14 days of feature window. Then the Saturday, we're going to have 25 days of feature freeze. And then, uh, so we did it July 24, the release. We did patch today, July 31, August 4, we opened the feature window. August 17, we close the feature window and then we do another release on September 11. Easy peasy, you know, always this release cycle round and around and around. There's always a new release coming up in later at some point. Uh, okay, so if you want support commercial or help with anything with curl, get in touch. This is what I do for a living. If you find any bugs, issues, problems, just fire them away on GitHub and report them and we will do our best to help out to fix them and address them and whatever. Of course, also, if you have a suspected security problem or even known security problem that you have found, report it at Hacker One <clears throat> so that we can work on it uh, exactly as the guy did that uh, reported this problem that we fixed today. <clears throat> so, these are the sponsor, the top sponsors today and this month. They are sort of the best, our best friends. Thank you for doing this. So this is Curl. Uh, this was 891. A shorter video today. I hope you got the gist of it. But um, And I hope I will see you again on September 11. Bye.